just doing a little bit of a coronation on a latex shirt. The Safeway in a double bag. It's got uh, one liter of water. And it's already got the bleach in there. And then we've got a little container with the hydrochloric acid. It's a little bit of a trick to get it unscrewed through the plastic, but after a little bit of twisting, we can release the, the acid and start the reaction, which will produce chlorine gas. And then to stop the reaction, there is actually a small pouch or a Ziploc bag inside here as well, inside basically uh, the, the inside bag with the latex shirt and the acid that has hydrogen peroxide, it's full of hydrogen peroxide, and that actually will neutralize the uh, chlorine. So. Almost got the lid off. It's a little hard with the holding the camera with one hand. And so actually, I think I might stop with the head. Got the the lid off of the hydrochloric acid, and so now it's producing chlorine. And here in a couple of minutes of being careful not to open the bag. Do that. I'm just trying to agitate the, the shirt in there to make sure that the, the solution gets mixed and to all parts of the, the shirt that I want. And honestly, it's not really going to get to the inside of the shirt probably real well. So in this case, this shirt, I only really wanted to um, chlorinate the inside of it. Uh, it, it was previously chlorinated, but the inside was really kind of starting to wear because I wear this to the gym all the, all the time. And so I'm only going to do the, the shirt's currently turned inside out, and I'm only going to do the one side. But if, if it were the first time, I might do this once, and then after I'm done, I would take it out and then turn it inside out and then do it again. But anyhow, here in a second, I'm going to stop the reaction by uh, puncturing this kind of hard to see, but there's another bag inside here with, with uh, um, peroxide in it, hydrogen peroxide. It's actually that one right there. So I can squeeze that and pop it and stop it. And then uh, I can um, then open just the inside bag and let this um, uh, powder absorb the rest of it. And that's actually used in photography. So that way it will be completely safe and you can test with some chlorine test strips that are used for a pool to kind of poke in there first to see if, if there's any remaining chlorine. But this has proven pretty safe for me so far.